ahead to a brand new day. We are headed out to go to our boys and see them after the huge cold spell that we had that lasted like 24 hours. Now it's back to, uh, I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's supposed to be above freezing today. And yesterday was negative 30. So big, huge change. I see our horses out there having breakfast. Happy and healthy. Uh, I won. I made it to the car before everyone else. Sam's almost here. Girls are still coming. <laughs> so for today's lesson, we're doing maybe something different. I don't know. I have to talk about our talk about it with our coach. But we've been tossing around like all these different ideas, and some of you guys get frustrated with the way the girls ride. I know learning never looks pretty. Never looks pretty, and every single one of us has caused horses pain and suffering because we're learning and we don't do everything perfectly. And most of us are still doing that. Like something that you don't really grow out of for a really long time. Riding is a hard sport, but behind the scenes, we are always talking and always trying to figure things out. So we're hopefully gonna make some changes today that are going to improve um, both of our kids as riders, improve the happiness of our little herd, and you guys will get to see that. So hopefully, we're gonna start that today. I don't know, I'll explain it as the day goes on, but I think we have a plan. We just have to talk to Brandon about it and explain it. So I'm riding Gino today? We'll see. We'll see who you're riding today, Sophie. We don't know. Okay. Okay? So let's go to the barn, people. So we got here at the barn and we're dropping the girls off to get their horses. And we saw Chino scratching his butt on the hay bale. <laughs> you're going to have to scratch his butt for him. They're trying to ignore the fact that we're here. <laughs> They're like, no, it can't be them. Dad finally learned that he can park over here and drop his off and go over there and see what's Right, you guys, I am prepared with my mask on. If you guys don't know, I shared a big, huge hack the other day. If you put a piece of paper towel inside your mask, it makes it so much more comfortable. It absorbs moisture so your glasses don't get steamed up. <laughs> all I can smell is the barn. <laughs> and all you can smell is the barn. <laughs> anyway, honestly, it's so good. Like, it works. I can't even talk. But yeah, like, you might not hear me. But it's so good. Anyways, all right, so we're here. Brandon's not here yet. Um, and I'll tell you guys what we're planning. So basically, so to fix Gabby's... I can't breathe. Just here, give it to me. <laughs> to fix Gabby's knee pinching, we're going to change up her saddle with one that has different knee rolls so she can't pinch. That's what we're trying with Gabby. We're going to change up her saddle so she can't knee pinch. And we're... Also, she does this thing where she braces her body, and we're going to work on that. But, but riding is so much like progress that you make over time. Then, um, and for Sophie... Brandon's saddle on before. I don't know. So and for Sophie, she's going to start riding a different horse sometimes. That giant. One that she can learn on. And so right now, we're, we're hoping to use Chino. So I don't know what Brandon wants to do today. Like... Oh, all I want to do is walk, try, and so I can't figure it out. Maybe you, Sophie will ride Grayfin. I don't know who no. Brennan. No, riding Grayfin. Maybe Gabby will ride Grayfin. <laughs> I gave her a heart attack. So, anyways, we got Chino here. Somebody's going to ride him. Sophie's going to ride him, we think. I don't know. I should have checked with Brandon. Actually, I check with him before I make plans, but I did not check with him. Is, that, is he here? No, that's probably Dad. Anyway, Sam's outside doing grain because that's what we do at the barn. So what we decided, we decided, we talked to Brandon, we decided a whole different thing. Always talk to your coach before you decide stuff. So Sophie's going to maybe ride Chino a little and maybe ride Finn a little. We're going to see how that goes. And then Gabby's going to ride Grayfin because that's her passion. Sam for brought lunch. Oh, it's alive. Oh, no. Oh, crap. This is not good. Wait, let me catch it. I want to catch it. Wait. Where'd it go? You're okay, Finn. That could have ended badly. Oh, supper. Hey. Hey. Did you get the bird? Leave. Hey. <laughs> He's like, that's my lunch. Go. <laughs> you already had a lot of lunches. I can tell by that belly. He has great escape. Oh, no, right. he has it again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Temper. <laughs> I know you're doing the good thing. Oh. 
<laughs> Watch <the> out! <laughs> Just catch our mini the first time she goes for you. Oh my gosh! Quick, quick! <sighs> Let it fly away. Uh, Brendan and Sophie rescued a bird. I put him someplace far. Oh, I don't know if he's hurt. I swear to do. <laughs> Go. Is a huge softie for animals. Go get ready, Sophie. This way's a bit. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, the thumper's gone. He's ready. He's... I mean, the bird is gone. I actually was hoping that it would still be alive. Is it alive? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, he's okay. He, it ran in with Finn. Yeah, Finn doesn't care about birds. He's like, eh, birds, chickens, you throw it at me, I don't care. Oh no, when I throw something at him. Look at he's like all worried now. Where's my food? If it was already dead, we would have let you have it, but it was still alive. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Where's my food? <laughs> All right, so we also changed Chino's oh, bit. Can I put that web too? Yeah. Like you might not see it, but we be making changes all Thank the you. time with our trusty coach. Keep the same thing with him, Sophie at the walk. Bending inside, inside black pushes over, okay? All right, so that was really fun. That was amazing. All of our plans turned out perfectly. All of our plans turned out perfectly. Chino was excellent. I Chino in the jumper ring this year, but I'm showing Finn as well. See how that works? She was like, I'm not riding him, I do not like him. Sophie was so like when Gabby had to change from Storm to Chino. It took her a long time to agree to that. Like she would not give up her horse, Storm. And she cried and cried. We kept telling her she needed a new horse. And she'd cry and cry and she'd like plug her ears if we even said that she needed a new horse. And then she's just evolved and changed. You gotta hide it, you gotta come close. Uh oh. There's a reason why we hide. <gasps> Ninja moves. And then, so Sylvie's at that stage now where like she needs a new horse. And because she's gonna outgrow Finn really soon, this year I'm sure. And even though Sylvie and Finn are not perfect together, they've come a long way together. They've grown together and changed together. And he loves her and would save her life in a minute. So there's like so many, so many things involved in getting a different horse. But Sophie needs a new horse. Mm -hmm. To see Sophie say, hey, maybe I could show Chino this year as well as Finn is huge growth and huge change. Yeah, what do you think of this guy? You still really like him? Yeah, her. Yeah, how do you like the, how do you like his jumping? It's bouncy, she says his, his jump is a bouncy. But like with every horse, it's getting used to it. And he's definitely, he's definitely, like they've definitely evolved and changed in just the short month that they've been riding together so lessons are over and we decided that we ended up not riding finn which is fine finn can use a rest right finn we don't want every today. yeah we don't want every single time we bring him in to be about riding i love when he does that and he puts his head on your shoulder he's Aww. really cuddly you're such a cuddly pony we love you we love you like your head almost goes to the top of his head <laughs>
Was he playing with her or was he yeah. being the boss of her? Was he like leading her, like being pushing her, making her move her feet? Because he, he was trying to nip being me. Being the boss of her, like he was. So we love this blanket. It's like terry cloth. It's like a bathrobe. It's so nice. Grayson gets a, Grayson gets a carrot for good jumping. Gabby, that was crazy jumping. Like he, and gummy bears, blue gummy bears. Sour Patch Kids. Blue Sour Patch it's Kids. Alright. She gave Chino one too. That's that's the me in her. The me in her is the part where... Uh, it's frozen. It's a bit frozen, Finny. Chino's like, where's my new carrot? You just got a Sour Patch Kid. Alright, let's go. We got three horses, three people. This is it, you guys. These are going to be our three horses. And Storm. We still have Storm. All the horses are our, that are our horse's friends are calling to them. Isn't that crazy? There's Reggie, and I don't know who the other one is. They're calling to Chino. Look, this is where they made a hole so that they can get the, get the hay. Is that where you eat? Where the hole is? You smart boy? Goodbye, handsome. We love you. We love you. Don't worry. Uh, Finny's got a hole too. You know how I can tell that this is Finn's hole? Because Chino's is at Chino's neck height and Finn's is at Finn's neck height. Eat up. There you go. See, they have their favorite spots to eat. <laughs> Goodbye. This is where they meet. They meet at the water trough. Lots of times when we come to get the horses or down at the water trough, they meet their friends there. It's so adorable. Like, like absolutely so adorable. Over my hands. Chino's happier at this farm for sure. Finn's settling in. Gabby's happier. A lot of good here. And the thing is with life is that you're supposed to always look for the good and leave the bad. And when you only look for the good and you only notice the good pretty soon, you're only happy. If you always notice the bad, which we all struggle well, with the that. The bad right now is that I'm starving. Yeah, the bad I right mean, now is we're starving. I mean, I have coffee. Don't pay attention to that though. Yeah, well, how can I win if I But yeah, like we all struggle, but you really want to be happy, just look for the happy. Look for the good. Don't you know that you're beautiful?